Hey, come see us on tour. We're going to be in Los Angeles, Columbus, Ohio, Dayton, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Lexington, Kentucky, Burbank, California, and Honolulu. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets. Hey, this is Jimmy. Who's this? Jimmy. It's Jake oh. Tamper from the lead with Jake Tamper. <laughs> oh. I know what this is going to be about. Hi, Jake. On CNN. Yeah, I get it. We know. How are you, Jake? Jimmy, if I'm being honest, I'm a little overwhelmed at the moment. The sheer volume of fact-checking that we have to do at CNN as the election draws closer is monumental. I go on air and interview Republicans <laughs> like Mike Johnson, and all I do is fact-check, clarify, yeah. shine a light on the truth, all that shit. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And I feel bad about complaining. I have it the easiest out of all of us. Our dedicated fact-checker... Checker Daniel Dale is at his breaking point. We have various fainting couches spaced throughout the studio <laughs> in case he encounters a real whopper of a lie that is just too much for his constitution. And then we have to revive him with smelling salts. Smelling salts, Jimmy. Smelling salts. My goodness me. And this is especially hard on Brian Stelter. <laughs> you know... He's, he's too young to really fully understand what's going on. He's usually in the playroom that we've had built for him, just rolling around like a panda. But he is trying. I, I've seen him practicing his serious face in the mirror multiple times. Good for him. But now he's down in the dumps because his tweet backfired. Oh. He thought it was important that people know that the Trump at McDonald's scenario was staged and that the Secret <laughs> Service vetted everyone going through the drive through <laughs> 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 Yes, obviously. I can't imagine there was anybody who didn't simply assume that to be the case. Well, yeah, of course, you and I know that. But Brian misunderstood and was under the impression that a lot of people thought that Donald Trump was now an actual employee of McDonald's. So Brian thought, here's my big chance to fact check. So we sent out that tweet, it got ratio, and everyone clowned on him. So now he won't come out of his playroom. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, this type of work takes its toll and has casualties. But luckily today, CNN is hosting a town hall with Kamala Harris tonight. Oh, really? So we are all looking forward to that as sort of a nice break from the madness. I assume you'll be fact-checking the uh, that that assiduously. What do you mean, fact-checking what? <laughs> fact-checking the Harris Town Hall on CNN, Jake. I'm afraid I don't follow. What? What? Look, look, it's just a town hall. It's not a debate or anything like that. She's going to sit down with regular folks in suburban Philly and answer their questions. Huh. Well, are you going to fact check her answers? <laughs> okay, I'm really confused here. You only seem to ever talk about fact checking Donald Trump. Do you fact check Kamala Harris like, like ever? I mean, I assume so. Daniel Dale or someone does. It's probably illegal not to. But I never hear anything about her lying, so I assume she never does. It's Trump who lies, like, all the time. Look, Jimmy, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. We focus on Trump's lies. And what about Kamala Harris's lies? Well, a Harris lie would end up being a right-wing talking point, and we aren't in the business of generating those. Jimmy, look. All fact-checking artillery should be aimed at the upcoming Donald Trump appearance yep. on the Joe Rogan podcast. There is no fact-checking going on there, that much I can tell you. Actually, they do fact-check on that show in real time. They seek out sources for claims made on the show. I, I've i been on there more than once myself. Well, do they have a Daniel Dale? <laughs> a guy whose title is just fact-checker? No, it's a producer who has other duties, but they're still fact-checking and verifying claims. Doesn't count. <laughs> Not fact-checking. Besides, I think it says a little something about the state of the two campaigns that Trump is doing a podcast and Kamala Harris is doing a town hall on CNN, the most trusted name in news. Jake, do you have any idea how many more people will see the Rogan podcast than the CNN town hall? Are you saying that more people will see Joe Rogan's podcast? 
I'm going to have to fact check that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crazy, isn't it? About seven times more, most likely. Well, as I wait for that fact to get checked, because I think, you know, okay, Daniel Dale has fainted again. <laughs> uh, as I wait for that, I'll just say, even if that's true, it's almost almost all young white males listening. So what? They're voters, aren't they? <laughs> Yeah, but they're they're not important. We're yeah. not we're not supposed to care what they like or think because because you know because they're not good. You know what I mean? Not really. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure young white males, like them or not, comprise a rather large voting block. I'd fact check that, Jake. Well, hey, you don't get to say that to me. We're CNN. We do the fact checking around here, Buster Brown. It doesn't go the other way around. People don't fact check us. That's backwards. Actually, a lot of my show is fact checking mainstream media outlets such as CNN. Well, I don't even see how that's legal. Either way, I don't <laughs> like it. Anyway, Jimmy, I have to go. Brian Stelter has emerged from his playroom and probably has to go potty. Yeah. When he's in one of these funks, he needs someone to go to the bathroom with him. And I think it's, uh, where's the dry erase board? Yeah, it's my turn. So, yeah. Yeah, buddy, just take my hand. Okay, uh, Jimmy, <laughs> bye. <laughs> and only we can fact check. Is it, is it number one or number two? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> hey, come see us on two. We're going to be in Los Angeles, Columbus, Ohio, Dayton, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Lexington, Kentucky, Burbank, California, and Honolulu. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets. Mm-hmm.